And then when I was in Oregon, Portland, Oregon, I got a call from Vince, Vince Senior, which one uh, wanted me to come in, and he said we're going to do something with you, and that's how I went in. And I was there when they made the crossover. When uh, I was there, when Vince Senior passed away. But that's that's how I got into it. When I got into it, it was the WWF, and then they switched it to the WWE. When you're there and you're working for Vince Jr., is there a big difference between junior and senior? Uh, in, in retrospect, I would say yes. And, uh, you know, Vince Sr., I guess you'd say like me, only on a bigger basis. He had a dream. He was going to take the world over, and that's exactly what he did. You know, and when my day, it was territories. It was, you know, Texas, uh, Georgia, Florida, places like that. He just went in and he knew he was going to take it all. We worked for him, so we had no choice. We had to go, and we were going against uh, Florida. We were going against Texas. uh, We were going against Calgary. But eventually, he took it all over, and he took it from the small arenas, uh, you know, and the armories and that, and he took it. Big time. Look how big it is today. Huge, huge. Global huge. global business, global empire he built. Oh, just WrestleMania alone does probably over a billion dollars because it goes all over the world. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, so he, you have to, he's a, is a businessman. He's a very smart, intelligent man. And I'll leave it like that. And when you come in, it's basically when he was kind of raiding the territories and getting all this awesome talent, like a Hogan, like a Snooker, uh, like an Andre the Giant. He was basically, I mean, these are guys that were in and out of WWF with his father and even him a little bit, but he was taking them and signing them to contracts and then creating TV deals. I mean, you were part of, yeah, of well, this big thing where he's stealing talent. Well, that's what he was doing, but he was paying more money too. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So that's why. That's one of the reasons I went, you know. So, you know, you were in a territory around figures in those days if you're making 100000 150000 a year, and he's going to say, look, I'm going to give you a contract and I'm going to give you two fifty a year at a minimum, and it's on, on paper, what are you going to say? You'd be stupid to say no. You know, when I left and went from Oregon into uh, New York, they got mad at me, but I knew I was going to make nearly the money, and, and uh, which I made a great living in Portland that I was going to make in New York. <laughs> 